Watch the city's health commissioner, Osiris Barbett, urge New Yorkers to spend as much time as possible in crowded public places. Keep in mind, this video was from February 2nd of this year. That was long after the threat from the Chinese coronavirus was obvious to anyone who was paying attention. The risk to New Yorkers for coronavirus is low and that our preparedness as a city is very high. There is no reason not to take the subway, not to take the bus, not to go out to your favorite restaurant, and certainly not to miss the parade next Sunday. I'm going to be there. Take the subway, go to dinner, people cheer. They feel good about themselves. Future generations, though, are going to watch that video with their jaws open in disbelief. They'll watch this performance from State Senator John Liu, too. Liu suggested that people who might be concerned in any way about contracting a deadly disease or who might be interested in where it came from must be, and you guessed it, bigots. But there's really no need to panic and to avoid activities that we always do as New Yorkers. We are a hearty people. As an Asian American, I've been somewhat disturbed, if not outright appalled, at some of the comments or gestures that I have seen. Diseases originate from anywhere or from particular places in the world. Now we know it was infecting the public with disease. But at the time, sentiments like this were universal among big city public officials. State Senator Brian Kavanaugh, for example, decided to embark on a crusade against what he called misinformation, a euphemism, as it so often is, for accurate information. Kavanaugh encouraged people to head to Chinatown for a festival. It's very important uh, that we recognize that this holiday and this festival is of tremendous uh, significance for many communities in our state. And uh, it is very important that we ensure that uh, we don't have misinformation. And many in the media have been covering uh, this issue uh, as if it's, you know, a terrible plague that uh, people have to avoid. If you don't go to a crowded public place immediately, you're a racist. Look at those people. This March 2nd, Mayor Bill de Blasio tweeted this, quote, Since I'm encouraging New Yorkers to go on with your lives, plus get out on the town despite coronavirus, I thought I would offer some suggestions. Here's the first. Through Thursday, go see The Traitor. If The Wire was a true story plus set in Italy, it would be this film. That's right. Go to a movie theater immediately. You must. A week later, de Blasio was still encouraging New Yorkers to live it up and mingle in large groups. On March 11th, which keep in mind was barely two weeks ago, de Blasio was still insisting that, quote, if you're not sick, you should be going about your life. That very same day, the NBA announced it was suspending its whole season. Italy was already several days into a national lockdown. But the mayor of one of the world's most crowded cities was telling everyone to carry on as though the Chinese coronavirus was just a racist myth. Soon after that, people in New York inevitably started to get sick, in some cases very sick, in some cases they died. And then suddenly de Blasio was on Meet the Press shrieking that Donald Trump had abandoned the city. It was their fault, all their fault. That line almost always works, which is why de Blasio did it. The media play along and move on to the next thing, and no one remembers what actually happened.